Elon Musk is out to kill PayPal, the very company he founded and got us in his initial wealth. So Winston thinks, but is he right? Is Winston right? Is Elon right? Is this the death knell for PayPal? People said Apple Pay would kill PayPal. People said lots of things would PayPal kill PayPal. Some people still think Venmo is going to kill PayPal which PayPal happens to own. So let me walk you through each step, each feature that we know XPay, as it's known, or XPayments is going to implement. And are these PayPal killers? Yes or no, so we can make better decisions as investors. I've also put together a huge amount of PayPal research, which you can download for free at felixfriends.org slash PayPal, P-Y-P-L, I think. I'll put the link down below. Uh, and that will probably make you a lot smarter than anything out there really. So come and, come and uh, download it. Now, here are some of the features. And there's a chap who just posted this on Twitter randomly. And he said, look, these are the insane, the insane future of X. X will become your bank account. Okay. I have bank accounts quite a lot. A lot of people have a lot of bank accounts and there are really good banks out there. I mean, good ones and terrible ones. Do we need another bank? Is that what people are excited about? SoFi does a pretty good job at it. True. So could they become a SoFi rival? Maybe. It could completely replace services like Venmo. Now, Venmo has an enormous user base. To hit Venmo's transaction volume, 25% of all X users would need to use this new payment feature which is a monstrous penetration. It's a lot of people. So it's a fairly hard thing, I think, to replace Venmo, at least at the outset. And you can store your money and earn interest. You can do that in any bank. You can do that in SoFi, and you could do it in Robinhood or Square or any number of fintech startups out there. So in itself, it's already there. No one's going to move to X because they pay you interest. And then there is also the question, do you want to store your money in a social media platform run by a billionaire that half the country hates and half the country loves, allegedly, something like that. So not necessarily where I feel comfortable putting a lot of money into a social media platform. I, I put a little bit in it maybe, but not a lot. You can tip other creators. You can do that on YouTube. People sometimes do it to me, which is very kind. Uh, I don't think it's a feature strong enough to make people go like, oh my God, I really want to tip people on X. Therefore, I'm going to put $100,000 on X. No, you won't do it. If you, if you want to be able to tip creators, just connect it to some sort of credit card or a PayPal wallet or something like that, and people will use it. But that feature isn't strong enough to draw people in. You can buy products from other vendors and creators. There is at present no shop on X. Facebook has a massive, massive shop and, and community sales platform. And MetaPay is pretty much dead as a dodo. Nobody wants to put money into Meta, even though they buy and sell stuff on there a lot. So in itself, again, I don't think that's the greatest feature. And you can use X payments in physical stores. That's a lot harder than you think, because if I go into a store, I'm going to use my Visa card or my Amex, or I'm going to use the app that I use on my phone to tap. Why would I switch from the Google wallet, the Apple wallet, the Samsung wallet, whatever it might be, the PayPal wallet to X? What is the feature that's going to be so much better? Is it 10 times more cash back? Is it, what, what is it that is going to make me do that, twi that, that switch? It's a hard thing to get people to install an app, input their bank details or their credit card details, and then use that, and then get millions and then billions of vendors out there to accept it. This is why, why Visa and MasterCard and Amex are such brilliant businesses, because they've done that, and it's hard to compete in the space. And you have to convince the physical store that there is some advantage in accepting XPay. Any way you want to use your money, be able to do it with X. And you should never have to take your money on X or out of X. I'm not quite sure what he means by that. And he said, this will absolutely explode. I think the creator space on X is growing very nicely. But what Elon's trying to build here is WeChat Pay, right? 
China has WeChat, which is this super app that does everything. When he visited China, I don't know, five years ago, or something, he gave an interview and he said, this thing is amazing. I love it. I'm going to build this. And that's what he's doing with X. But that's a monopoly on payments pretty much in China. So there are two payment online sort of digital payment processes in China. One's WeChat Pay, the other one is, uh, is, is Alipay. And people have one or the other on their phone or probably both. But in the US, we've already got Zelly and, and PayPal and Square and Visa and MasterCard and Google Pay and Apple Pay and Samsung Pay and I could go on for hours, right? So you're not the first mover, which WeChat was, and doesn't really have any competitors other than Alipay. So it's just a lot harder to do. Will it happen? If anybody can pull it off, I think it's Elon Musk, but will it destroy PayPal? No, just like Apple didn't destroy PayPal, just like any other payment processor out there won't because the hard thing, the moat, is to get the merchants, the vendors to accept the payment, install it on their website and in their shops, and for consumers to trust it. People pay with PayPal because they trust it. Simple as that. They might love it or loathe it, but they think it's a safe place to transact with. X is going to have to work pretty hard to do that. So while I think it's great to innovate and maybe it'll be better, even if it comes up with something better, all PayPal's got to do is look at it and go, all right, we'll do that too, which is what you know, WhatsApp has done, right? Meta, WhatsApp's copied a lot of the WeChat functions once again. So it's kind of funny that it's copying in that direction. So I think this is a lot of noise. I don't think this is going to eat PayPal's lunch. That's basically my view. So let me know what you make of this down below. And I'm excited for PayPal earnings, not necessarily just this quarter, but the next quarter and the quarter after that. And if things continue to turn out the way they are, we're going to make a lot of money. So if you come and, want to come and join us to make a lot of money, come and join the community, smash the subscribe button. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks for tuning in. Winston just said to me, Felix, everybody should own 100 shares of SoFi. And I said, why, Winston? He said, well, just run through the numbers, do the maths, and it'll become perfectly clear. And I said, Winston, that's a glorious idea. Let's do exactly that. And I'm going to break it down for you, golden retriever style. So this isn't financial advice. This is puppy advice.